Hello and welcome back. I am Teresa Ruiz. So today's video is going to be a mounting. I want to try this out. I have two Dendrobium Second Loves right here in front of me. And I'm going to mount one and I am going to keep one potted. So originally I thought that it would be a good idea to actually mount one of them onto one of my trees and uh, leave it all year round, you know, mount it on the tree. But then I thought about it because we do get low 50s, sometimes low 40s. And uh, I don't know how this plant might react to cold temperature, right? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to mount it on this trunk that I have here. And I'm going to hang it on my tree just like I have my other orchids. And I'm going to leave it outside as long as I can. And as soon as I start noticing any burnt leaves or any damage due to the cold, I will put it in my greenhouse for the rest of the winter. But I want to try it out. So I actually have this log here, right? I normally drill holes up here and I'll put these hooks on there. The thing is that this log is a bit heavy and I need larger hooks to be able to uh, safely hang it on that tree. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna mount it and later on I'm gonna go to the store and purchase two large hooks or even maybe chains. Um, I'll figure it out but I'll let you know exactly how I do it and I'll link it below. Is I have some sphagnum moss soaking in water. I have my shears. I have some alcohol ready to go and I'm actually going to use this mesh here to put the roots in here as well as the sphagnum moss. Dendrobiums do like a little more moisture and uh, it's spring now but during the summer it will get a bit hot. I want to make sure I provided enough water so it actually grows because I want to see some flowers. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to mount the smaller one and I'm going to repot this larger one and put it in a bigger pot and I will keep a diary on how they are both doing, at least for me, out here. So let's get started. I'm going to pull this one. Can you see that? I have new roots, which is great. New roots are always good. So it's a good time to actually mount it on this log. I'd rather do it now than later on during the summer. So I'm just gonna lay my log here. So what I did to treat this log is that I soaked it in a bucket of water. And then the next day, after 24 hours, I pour that water out, put some clean water in, and the third day, I let it sit for like four hours, and then I put it in my oven for about six hours at like 150, 200. Uh, so that I make sure that if there's any, any pests in here, I'm not transferring them to my orchids. The last thing I wanna do is kill this orchid, so, I'm gonna grab my mesh and I have a stapler here that I'm gonna use to have a stapler here that I'm gonna use to secure the orchid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and simply staple the mesh. Okay, so I ran out of staples. So what I'm gonna end up using is I'm gonna either use this wire to secure it or I'm gonna use some of this um, yarn. Well, it's not yarn here to secure the orchid. So I do have a staple there that's holding onto the mesh. That should be enough. So. Take some of my sphagnum moss, squeeze the water out, lay a nice little 
bed of sphagnum moss. Take the remaining of the sphagnum moss. Place it right on top. Try to cover as much as the roots because the, little, the longer roots that are coming out here, they have the these longer roots are starting to branch out. So I want to continue to have that root growth. Okay, so just like that. Let me show you what it looks like. So that's what it looks like now. Okay, then I'm gonna fold this mesh here. Okay, I'm gonna keep it folded. Stand it over and flip it. Tying a knot on it. It's a little bulky, but I should do it. I'm just going to tuck this in here. So there it is. So what I'm going to use now, I can use this wire, slide it over, oh darn, let me show you, <laughs> it's not long enough, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here, a piece long enough, I'm going to wrap it around the trunk about twice making sure that I secure here and I secure the cane right above so it doesn't move. As you can see I cut I did cut it long enough for at least two turns. So I'm going to bring it forward now again. This is organic so with water and time it does break down. It's what I use on my mounted orchids and by the time that they're well rooted there's none left. So I don't know if you can see what I did right there. So I put it through this back cane to hold the bottom one. So it's gonna, as I pull, it's gonna secure it in place. I'm not gonna pull that much. And then I'm gonna take the other, the opposite end. And I'm gonna slide through the back of this bolt. Uh, cane here and there you go see how the back canes the, the back canes don't move anymore I don't want to put too much pressure on the entire orchid so I just normally make a and not just like as if I was tying my shoe doesn't have to be that tight there you go then drove him second love and I'm actually just gonna tuck the tag right behind. So that's what it's look what it looks like. And it has enough sphagnum moss to keep the moisture, enough moisture uh, to keep it um, hydrated throughout the summer. I'll post monthly pictures, maybe not the first few months, but I'll definitely start showing you pictures on when the roots start coming out. Because if you can see the mesh is wide enough to where the roots can easily protrude through the mesh and attach to the log. This is just so that I can keep um, hydrated for the summer. So there you go, that's how I mount my orchids on these logs. So when I'm ready to actually hang it on the tree, I will make a separate video on how to drill and what type of hooks I use. And I will post that. For now, I'm gonna leave it in my greenhouse for another few days till I buy what I need. 
to hang it in a tree. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked the video, I'd invite you to please subscribe, like or comment. Uh, any suggestions or any tips that you have for me, I'd appreciate. Alright, so you guys have a good day.